guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode series. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off today's episode with some player training. I told you guys I wouldn't forget to do the player training. And uh, here it is. It's uh, Verde, Maitland, Niles, Bielik, Rennie Adelaide, and Bellerin are some of the players that I want to train. I want to train maybe 10 or so players, uh, so I can have an interchanging lot of five. Uh, so I'm not training the same players all the time, because apparently that messes up with their physical stats. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments section below. And also let me know, do you actually want to see me simulating the training? Or do you want to just know that I'm actually training my players? Yeah, is it a big thing if I show it on the screen uh, and you guys see the results? Or do you just care that I'm actually training them? Let me know in the comment section below if you actually want to see it. If you should take up a little bit of the video uh, showing you guys who I'm training and what I'm training them in. If you care about that sort of stuff. The first game of today is a Capital One Cup game against Norwich City. And it's a game I'm going to simulate due to the fact that we are at home. And I feel very confident that we could pull out a result here against Norwich. We've got the rest squad playing today. That's our spinner Jenkinson, Magalian, Gabriel, Gibbs, Bielik, Ramsey, Wilshel, Gazi, Fakir, and Verde. If you do go on to enjoy today's episode, guys, make sure you smash a like on the video. If we can hit anywhere near 120, get away, bird. If we can smash anywhere near 120 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, 120 likes is like the norm now, it's like the standard. If we could hit it, I know you guys can. That will be appreciated. 1-1 one, one here against Norwich is not what I expected at all. Especially due to the fact that they have a man sent off. We're going into extra time. Ozil slots away a penalty and that should be it. 2-1. A bit more of a struggle against Norwich City than I would have expected. I would have expected a comfortable win there. But, we have, you know, we go through. That's really the important part there. Okay, the first game that we're going to play today here is a game against Nottingham Forest. A game that I might, I could simulate, but I don't really trust simulating away games that much. Even if it is against a team like Nottingham Forest, I'd rather play this game. So, we're going to get ahead into this game as we sit in third position. As you can see, we are now... Four points behind Spurs, which isn't too bad, and we're still undefeated in the league. Just 10 goals conceded from 16 games, so we're looking pretty good. If we can continue our little bit of a run here and get another win on the board, that would be absolutely fantastic. It's a Nottingham team that's not really doing too well. They're in the bottom three, so it should be a win here today. Without further ado, let's take a look at the lineup. All right, we are sticking with this 4-4-2. It is working for us, and I'm sticking with it. And I, again, I don't like dropping Ozil. I don't like taking him off the pitch, but... It has to be, if it's for the better of the team, it has to be done. And I will be playing this 4-4-2 in this game today. As soon as the 4-4-2 fails me, we'll move on to a new formation or we'll try something else. But the 4-4-2 is working. We're picking up results and that's really what matters. So we're going to get ahead into this game against Nottingham Forest away. It should be a win. It's our full strength team. I expect nothing but three points here. We're on a decent bit of a run here. I think it's four Premier League wins in a row. So if we can continue that here and get our fifth Premier League win in a row, that would be absolutely amazing. So without further ado, it's Nottingham Forest versus Arsenal. Come on, boys. Oh, and by the way, if you guys can hear any background noise, that's construction work being done across the road. The drill is freaking loud. I don't know what they're doing out there, but it is really loud. So if you hear that background uh, sound, I apologize. But hopefully it's not too bad. It's Verratti now. Plays through to Welbeck, who's offside. But I think he, he was just offside. Like, I don't think it was too big of a deal, but he is offside. I thought he would be. If I'd played that pass sooner, that would have been a fantastic pass from Verratti. Great vision. And he is just offside. Just a step offside. And that could have been a great goal. To Miralem Pjanic, he finds Benzema lurking just outside the penalty box. What's Benzema going to do? He's going to put it on his right. Oh, he's going to shoot from outside the box. And I don't know what... Oh, penalty. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take it. <laughs> What's happened here? Verratti has just run into the defender and we've got ourselves a penalty. Marco Verratti diving for days. Right, there's no who wins and takes them. Especially when it's nil-nil. I'm just going to put the best penalty taker we have on the ball. It's Karim Benzema who slots it away ahead of Vito Manone. Who's not going to do anything about that. And Benzema has scored a goal. Albeit it's a penalty. So it's not like he's in a great run of form all of a sudden. But it is a goal. And maybe that can help his confidence a little bit. I don't, I don't know how he won that penalty. Don't ask me. That was just stupid. If I had conceded that penalty, I would have just ended the episode. I would have just stopped. Teshe finds Lansbury to Brit Asombolonga. Asombolonga with a good turn and a hit, and I thought that was in the back of the net. Wow, Petr Cech leaving that one close. I don't know if he would have been beaten if that was on target. It seems like he would have gotten there just, but Asombolonga is a dangerous man, and he has a great name as well. <laughs> 
Verratti now charging forward. Who's he going to find? He's going to find Benzema. Benzema waiting for the run of Jose Gaia, who's made a good run. He's going to slot that through to Yevgen Konoplyanka. Nice wide ball there from Gaia. Konoplyanka now is going to lay that off to Miralem Pjanic. Put that away, Pjanic. He tried curling it in, but the defender putting his body on the line. All right, they're not marking Verratti at all. He's got a lot of space here. Come on, Marco. Put that away! Oh, I thought maybe that'd creep into the, the bottom corner there. Verratti, decent effort. Konoplyanka to Benzema to Welbeck. It seems like their left back has just gone completely missing. And Joel Campbell now, he's going to cut back out. He's going to cut in on his left. Lay that off to Marco Verratti. Put that away, Verratti. Don't even think about missing that shot, Marco. Oh, the fans are over here in this corner. Let's go celebrate with the Arsenal fans. The Arsenal faithful traveling to Nottingham Forest. Well, to Nottingham. It's not really an actual forest that we're playing in. Joel Campbell just does really well to create the space. I mean, their left back wasn't even there. Like, I don't know where their left back was. And he just he just wasn't there. So Joel Campbell had the space, cuts in, finds Verratti. Verratti on his left, and it's come off uh, Manoni's arm, but it's a goal. I mean, Verratti scores 2-0. Oh, Danny, that's fantastic stuff there. Fantastic hold-up play from Danny Welbeck. He ball rolls it onto his left foot. He's getting harried by the defender, but he's just holding it up. Finds Marco Verratti. Falls to Danny Welbeck, who smashes that. Threads it through to Pjanic. Pjanic sees the run of Karim Benzema, and he's got Danny Welbeck on the far post. You know he's going to pass it. He's an unselfish man. He's proved that week in, week out. Benzema, he's not, the he's not been the striker that I've expected him to be. He's not the poacher. He's not getting in the right places at the right time to score. But he does so much to create space, to assist to create chances. I mean, he is a vital player in that attacking play. And although he's not scoring goals, and I know a lot of people will criticize him because he is not scoring goals, he is doing wonders for this team going forward. And I can't believe how good he's been at assisting. He's honestly, I thought it'd be switched. I thought Welbeck would be what Benzema's doing, and I thought Benzema would do what Welbeck's doing, but it's reversed. Welbeck gets a goal, and uh, he's looking very good this episode. He's looking very good this episode. It's only been one game. And there it is, full-time 3-0 here away at Nottingham Forest. A convincing and comfortable win at the end of the day, which is very, very reassuring. Uh, and it's going to build up a lot of confidence for the team. Benzema seems very happy with himself <laughs> getting a goal and an assist here, albeit his goal was a penalty, but it's, it's still a goal. As you can see, nine shots, five on target for us with 52% possession. To Nottingham Forest's four shots, one on target, 48% possession. I think we really did play a lot better than them. I really don't remember them having too many clear-cut chances. They had a few long shots that looked like they were going in for a second. I really shat my pants for a second, but... They ended up going wide. That's why they have four shots and just one on target because they ended up going wide. But it's 3-0, a clean sheet, three goals. I can't complain with that, that result and that performance. That was fantastic. All right, these are the other five players that I would like to train. El Ghazi, Andrade, Gaia, Gnabry, and Shaw. Shaw is actually a youth product that we have at the moment. He's the only player in our youth squad because I have been doing a little bit of scouting. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, but he's 50 rated. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just train him in his defending. Right, guys, we do have a bit of a problem here as far as these contracts go. And going into January, I am scared that we are going to lose a few of our players. Because as you can see, we don't have a lot of money. And I keep asking for the board for just a couple of million to get a little bit more in our wage budget. And they're not accepting. They're not doing it. And I have a feeling some of these players might leave us for free in January. We still have 60000 so maybe I could get one more. But as you can see, I'm currently negotiating Joel Campbell's. And I think the 60000 is going to go to Joel Campbell's thing. So I'm fucking scared, man. I honestly, if Ozil or Ramsey or someone leaves us for free, I'm going to be so annoyed. And uh, I really don't want that to happen. I'm not sure if they will. But I don't know if you guys have any tips on how else I could make money. Maybe I could loan out a few players to get the money. But I don't know, man. I'm just fingers crossed. I'm just hoping none of these guys leave for free in January. Because I, there's no other way that I can make money right now. Unless I sell a player in January or loan a player in January and use that to get the contract. However, we cannot be worrying about January just yet. Because we have a massive game here against Manchester City. And taking a look at the table, Spurs still haven't lost. But they drew their game which means now we're within two points of Tottenham and the North London teams are the only teams to not be defeated at the moment. And I'm not planning on losing our first game until Spurs lose their first game. No way. So going into this game against Manchester City, it's going to be a difficult game. They have a very good squad. I believe they have Lewandowski in their team as well. So imagine him and Aguero up front. That'll be 
diabolical. But without further ado, we're going to get into this game. And apparently, Bonnie is the top scorer in the league. So their strikers are just fucking amazing. I know they say not to change a winning formula, but I'm switching back to the 4-2-3-1 for this game. I feel defensively, this is a just a better formation than the 4-4-2. I think it's a lot more compact. Connor Poyanka has been very hot and cold this season so far, and I'd rather not have him, and I feel defensively he's not as good as Chamberlain. Chamberlain is, is, is runs up and back very, very well. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an experiment, but it's Arsenal versus City at the Emirates Stadium, so this is a big one, boys. This is probably the biggest game of our season so far. To Pjanic, Pjanic. Here we go to Mesut Özil. We could have something on our hands. Otamendi with a fantastic challenge, just wiping out Özil. Trying to find Özil. He doesn't have the pace, though. Oh, oh, Özil, the determination of Mesut Özil sends it in and what a clearance that is from Vincent Company to just get the ball out of there before it reaches Danny Welbeck's noggin. All right, they haven't scouted us well here. Miralem Pjanic is going to send this into Marco Verratti and he's going to bang that. Oh, Joe Hart with a save. Looks like they've scouted a little bit better this time. So I don't think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm just going to whip this one in here for Mesut Ozil. He's going to try and find Joe Davis. That was a strong header. And I thought that might make the top corner. Getting bossed off the ball by Joe. Joe Davis now is going to send that down the line to Joel Campbell. Joel now. He's got Danny Welbeck running in. He's got Gar Clichy chasing him. Clichy with a tackle and a half. He's like 35 at this point. Come on, settle down, Gal. Pjanic finds Joel Campbell. The touch isn't very good. He falls to Kyle Clichy. Clichy's just flopped there, trying to get a foul. Oh, and Danny snuck it in at the near post. Danny Welbeck has snuck it in. What a pass from Joel Campbell. I'm not sure what Gar Clichy was doing, man. He's flopping. He is flopping. But my goodness, what a finish from Danny. Didn't have time to think instincts. Look at, look at Clichy, mate. That's a dive. I want a yellow card for that. And Welbeck just striker's instinct, tucking it away. Joe Hart doesn't get to it. It's too quick for him. And it's 1-0 here. The 4-2-3-1 seems to be doing okay so far. And Danny Welbeck touches the badge. The man up front on his own, proving why he should be our striker up front ahead of Benzema. And he's making a fantastic case for himself, man. He's impressed me this season. Jesus Navas finds Yaya Toure. Toure to Navas. Navas now. Jesus Navas sends in the cross. Why is Bellerin not getting ahead of Lewandowski? And of course it happens. I don't want to bring this up again, but of course it happens as soon as we freaking score. Why is Bellerin backing away? Watch Bellerin. He's in front of Lewandowski and he backs away. Why? I didn't tell him to do that. I had the jockey on and I had the clearance on. So I should be getting ahead of Lewandowski, not behind Lewandowski. That's, that's bullshit, mate. That is, that is complete bullshit. And I thought we'd gotten past that hump. I thought this wasn't going to happen again. But clearly, EA just want to fist me up the ass. Guy, it's a Chamberlain. What's Chamberlain going to do? He hasn't really done anything in the first half. It's the second half now. Surely he can turn him on. He's got Danny Welbeck to play through Mesut Ozil. Ozil's going to wait for this ball. He's going to wait to make the perfect pass here. What's Mesut going to do? He's going to lay that off to Miral and Pjanic. Pjanic, you know he's going to bang that from outside the box. Oh, he's hit the post. I thought that was heading back of the net. Miral and Pjanic inches away from putting us up. What's Marco going to do? He's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's going to wait for Joel Campbell to make the run there. Come on, Joel. There you go. Good pass from Verratti. Joel Campbell leaves Clichy for dead. I don't know where Clichy's going. Joel Campbell on his left. Welbeck gets in the way. What are you doing, Danny? Connor Plianka finds Benzema. Benzema threads that back to Connor Plianka. Oh, I should take the free kick, but I'm not going to do it. You have Connor Plianka fresh off the bench. Why didn't he pull the fucking trigger, mate? How many times do I have to press the shoot button? There it is. Full time 1-1 one, one here at the Emirates in a game that I think we fully deserve to win. Man, Manchester City had nothing going for them other than when we scored, they decided to score. And if that doesn't prove it to you, I don't know what does prove it to you. Six shots, four on target, 50% possession to Manchester City's one shot, one on target, 50% possession. It's just bullshit, man. It is just bullshit. Just, there's just no way they deserve the point from that. Just no way. It just, it just doesn't. This just does not compute in my head the fact that they got away from the Emirates with a point. It's robbery. We've been robbed in broad daylight and no one's doing anything about it. It's bullshit. Okay, we have a game here against Stoke City before we head into January that I'm going to simulate because uh, I do want to ask you guys what we should do about the contract signings. Do you have any suggestions for me going into January as Benzema puts us up 1-0? 
Do you have any suggestions for me? Uh, I don't I don't really know what I should do. I've asked the board for money again. Uh, so we'll see if they accept it after this game. But after that, what am I meant to do? I I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I hope that no one leaves on a free. That's all I can do right now, I think, is just hope that no one goes. Campbell seems to be injured. We're going to skip the rest of this last few minutes, which it didn't let me do. My controller's run out of battery. Nice. All right, the Arsenal board don't want to give me more money, but then they also say that we need to go and sign a defender because apparently there's squad depth concern. Squad depth concern? Are you serious? Our squad is deeper than the Mariana Trench. Do you know how fucking deep that thing is? It's huge. Go look it up how deep it is. It's like 12 kilometers deep. That's how deep our fucking squad depth is, your Arsenal board, you fucking idiots. Now I know what Arsene Wenger's dealing with. You don't want to give me more money, but you want me to go and sign a player. How am I supposed to sign a player with half a million fucking pounds, mate? Okay, I've put some players on the transfer list and on the loan list. I have Jenkinson and Landonio who I put on the uh, transfer list now, so they could be a very important part. And then we've also put Wilshire, Coquelin, Chambers, and Magalhães on loan. The, the reason I've put these people on loan, especially Wilshire and Coquelin, is because I want to get their wages. Imagine having 290 more, 290,000 more euro in our wages. That would be a big, big help. And if some of these players can go out on loan, I mean, look at this. You've got people that are on 80k, 70k. If some of these go out on loan in January, I think we could be fine. As I said, that is it for today's episode. And as you can see... We are now top of the table for the first time in the season as Spurs drew another game, leaving us both with 9 wins, 10 draws, no losses. We've scored one more goal than them and we've conceded 5 less goals than them. So we're looking very, very good now. We have a 1 point lead on Liverpool, a 2 point lead on Chelsea and a 3 point lead on Manchester City. So tight at the top, man. That's it for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smash a like on the video. And of course, we're gonna we're gonna try and hit 120 likes on today's video as we go into the next episode, wondering what's gonna happen with a lot of our players. It's not certain at the moment. There's a lot of uncertainty with those players potentially leaving on free transfers. Hopefully, none of them do, um, but you never know. So next episode is gonna be a crazy one. We're gonna be playing a bunch of games. We're gonna be trying to get those contract signings. We're gonna try and be getting a lot of players on loan. So that's gonna be what's in the next episode, guys. If you're excited for that, make sure you leave a like on this video as well. But that's it. I'm gonna get up out of here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode and I hope you're enjoying life in general. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Keep it real.